Harold Washington was not only Chicago's first elected black mayor, he was a member of CPS's DeSable High School's first graduating class, but received his diploma after his military discharge in 1946. He had been drafted into the Army Corps of Engineers for World War II in 1942. Washington returned back home to Chicago and enrolled at Roosevelt University, one of the local colleges that allowed both black and Jewish students to attend. Active as a student council leader, Washington graduated in 1949. He attended law school at Northwestern, where he was the only black student in his class and graduated with his JD in 1952. From 1951 until he was first elected to an office, Washington worked for the third ward alderman, Ralph Metcalf, where Metcalf served as Washington's mentor and became very familiar with the ways of the Chicago's political machine. In 1965, Washington was elected as part of the winning Democratic slate and the independent voters of Illinois ranked Washington as the fourth most independent legislator in the Illinois House. They also bestowed him with the best legislator of the year honor. Washington was elected to the Illinois House in 1976, then the House of Representatives in 1980, representing Illinois' first congressional district. His collaboration was instrumental in the creation and passage of the Voting Rights Act extension. Washington turned his attention to the mayoral election in Chicago, where he defeated the incumbent Mayor Jane Byrne in the Democratic primary, then Bernie Epton in the general election, becoming Chicago's first elected black mayor. His reign was not without challenges, most notably the council wars with members of Chicago's political machine, which led to early difficulties passing legislation. Gaining some key allies helped move Washington's policies into the success column. Despite tumult between Washington and the city council, Washington enjoyed positive approval among the city's residents. Harold Washington died in office while preparing for his second term, but his actions and vision have continued to inspire constituents and political aspirants in Chicago. Black history is Chicago's history. Now you know. <laughs>